I'm going to walk you through the exact same process that I use to set up dry rent cleaning ads. And those kind of ads have generated us 90 leads at about $3.70 per lead in the past couple of weeks. This specific client is closing about 25% of all those leads that have come in. So let's get right to it. The starting point is going to be the Facebook Ads Manager. I'm going to assume that you already have a business Facebook account, um, that you already have a Facebook page for, for your business at least or an Instagram account, and we're going to jump into Ads Manager and create this ad. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is click on this green Create button. Uh, out of all these objectives, there are several that we can use, but the one that we are going to be using is going to be Engagement, and you're going to click Continue. Next, Facebook is actually going to be building out the ad structure. You notice here that you have a campaign level, an ad set level, and an ad level. The very first thing that you need to do is come to this campaign level and actually label it something that makes sense to you. So in my case, we're generating dry rent cleaning in the Houston area, so I'm just going to type that as the name of my campaign. The next thing that you're going to want to do is click on new engagement ad set and we're going to start from the top here and work our way down in this section you're going to be giving this ad set a name we're going to be choosing where the conversion needs to happen you're going to be choosing your ideal area demographic and placement of your ads so the very first thing is always name your ads something that makes sense i typically include a naming convention that includes a city a zip code or service area uh, that makes sense for me the next thing that you're going to want to do is click a conversion location. This is going to be where you want that conversion to happen. Um, for most of what we're going to be doing here in this type of setup, you're going to choose messaging apps. So make sure that you have messaging apps selected. And then under ad type, make sure that you have click to message highlighted. Next, what you want to do is make sure that you have the proper Facebook page selected. For most of you, this is not going to be an issue because you've only got one Facebook page for your business. But for me, since I manage dozens of accounts, I'm just going to pick the right Facebook page that corresponds with the business that I want to run ads from um, and just make sure that it's listed there. Next, we're going to come down to messaging apps. This is going to be where you want that conversion and that conversation to happen. If uh, you have an Instagram account linked to this or a WhatsApp account linked to this then you want to select appropriately for me what I recommend is you leave it at messenger um, and move on from the step here uh, typically you want to break the ads up uh, by channel so if you're running Instagram ads set up ads specifically for Instagram just because the creative is going to be different the messaging is going to be different and the overall vibe of what an Instagram looks like it's supposed to be like is different than what a Facebook ad is supposed to be like so um, kind of make your decision based on what you've got set up right there I'm not gonna worry about performance goals we don't really need that we want the maximum number of performance and conversions uh, to come our way uh, also not really worried about schedule um, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to work with these leads um, after I show you how to set up the ads in an automated way so that you can follow up with them 24 hours a day next thing that I'm gonna do is actually choose the audience in the audience section uh, and this is where we're gonna start to mold a little bit of like the, the people that we want to get in front of right so think about this as in the old days, people used to fly to neighborhoods and do use door hangers. Uh, and they used to blanket entire neighborhoods and go, do, you know, do door to door hangers. And this is kind of a very similar process. Only we're doing it digitally, and we're providing that level of trust that people are looking for um, when deciding who to go with. So the very first thing that you're going to do is click on locations and click on edit. Now here. Um, what you want to do is pick the service area that you want to run your ads in there are a few options to pick from here notice that i've got this radius so i chose the city of sugarland and it's giving me a 25 mile radius um, what you can do at the radius level is adjust it all the way down to 10 miles you know in the minimum is 10 miles of that city and the maximum is 50 miles um, that may be a lot of area to cover depending if you're you know where the city is located in a major city for example this city sits on the outskirts of Houston and for me to go out 25 miles means that if I go into Houston it could essentially be a two-hour drive just to get across you know something that's maybe 10 miles out right so what I want to do in my situation is I just want to choose the specific city which is going to allow me to uh, target this ad only within that city limit um, and that way I can kind of tailor my message a little bit better again you do whatever you feel is necessary in your situation the next thing that you're gonna to want to do is adjust age um, don't waste your ad spend 
um, targeting age groups that are not going to be your ideal demographic. So if I'm doing dryer vent cleaning, this is for your clothes dryer, by the way, not uh, AC vent. Okay, these are going to be homeowners usually. Uh, maybe if you land some commercial deals like condos or apartments or something like that, for the most part, they're going to be homeowners. And so homeowners are not typically going to be your 18 year old um, that's going to be a homeowner. So I'm going to tailor this based on kind of what I feel that the business need. Now, if you've been in business for quite some time, you already know who your target market is. You already know the proper age group to target. Um, but typically, um, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, I'm going to be a little graceful here, right? So typically, it's going to be about 35 and up, but I want to go all the way down to possibly 30 so that I can hit um, a little bit lower. I'd rather have a little bit more than have less and kind of pigeonhole myself, right? Next thing that I'm going to do is uh, genders, right? Again, take a look at the data that you've got as a, as you know, for your business. If you see that the majority of of the conversions, the majority of the calls that you get are from women, like 80, 90 plus percent are from women scheduling these type of services, then tailor this and select women only. But if you see that it's like 80, 90 percent males, then choose men only. Now, if it's split between the two or, you know, there isn't that big of a difference, um, leave it at all. That's fine. Now, let's talk about detail targeting for a bit, because most people get hung up on this and Every so often when I put one of these videos out, I always get one or two angry comments about why didn't you go deeper in detail targeting? The reason I don't go that deep in detail targeting is because your offer is everything, literally. Now, the people that get hung up on this detail targeting and the targeting of Facebook ads when it comes to local businesses usually are going to be small business owners or dudes who are out there running Facebook ads that have very little to no experience in running Facebook ads. Running Facebook ads for local business is completely different than running it for like an e-commerce platforms where you're selling socks. Um, so what I'm going to tell you here is focus on your offer and don't get so hung up on the detail targeting because the data is going to tell you exactly what you need to adjust and what you need to change when these ads start to run. So for me, I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, obviously, languages is something that could be important to you if you are in a bordering town and maybe um, you get a lot of Spanish speakers and that's not who you service because you don't have anybody who speaks Spanish, then change this to English or change this to the language that you wish to to target. You might want to target Spanish, then in other words, change it to, to Spanish then. Okay, now we're gonna jump down to uh, placements. Uh, what you wanna do here is, it, how we set these up is we only focus on the placements that are gonna generate the highest quality traffic for us. So if you don't have an Instagram account, um, don't choose Instagram right and you'll notice that you're gonna have some placements in here that are just gonna be things that don't really make sense to you right so let's say you are running an image um, instead of a video then do not place it in the video feed because clearly it's not gonna make any sense it's not gonna work so go through here and adjust your place placements accordingly uh, to what you want to do uh, from this point on, we're going to jump into actually creating the ad. And like I mentioned before, we're also going to set up some automations that is going to walk you through lead handling so that they can come in at any time of day or night and they get taken care of. Now, before I do that, though, I do want to mention some things. I'm actively looking for partners right now for anybody who owns or operates a dryer vent cleaning business. So we only typically work with one business per market um, and we've got capacity for about five new ones um, you know, each month that come on board, assuming that you don't have, we don't have that market already. So if that's you and you just want somebody to do this for you, uh, there's going to be links in the description of this video that um, is where you can go and ask for more information on that. The other thing I want to mention is that if you are more of the DIYer and you just kind of want to learn how to do this yourself and go deeper into this process, I cover offer creation. I cover targeting in a little bit more depth. I cover the ins and outs of conversions in a mini workshop that I've got listed also linked in the description of this video. And you can go pick that up if that's the route that you want to go so now enough about that let's click on the engagement ad and we're going to be building it from scratch so again very first thing you're going to do is give this a name and I recommend that you give a name to uh, something that matches that creative where they, if you can look at it at a glance you'll be able to tell exactly what it is so for me I'm just going to use a personal pick here that's going to be the name of the ad I don't have any branded content because I'm not doing any partnerships with anybody, so that's just going to stay off. Um, I don't have an Instagram account tied to this ad in this case. Uh, and so next is going to be the ad setup. 
what I'm gonna be doing is creating an ad. Obviously, you can use an existing post. So if you've got an existing post on your Facebook page that has done very well organically, and you've gotten some business uh, from that, use that. But in this example, we're creating something completely new from scratch. I'm gonna choose single video and image. Then you're gonna come down to the creative, uh, to the ad creative section. This is where we're gonna start to build our picture. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is click on add media and add images, right? This is going to open up the image library. This is the library that is tied to your Facebook page. If you've never run ads before, this is gonna be blank, okay? Um, you can also choose to pull images from your Facebook page um, by clicking the Facebook page. But these are the ones that I've got. So you wanna pick an image that's catchy, an image that uh, conveys the thing that you want uh, people to buy. In my case, I'm just gonna upload an image that I've got on my computer. So what you wanna do is click the upload button and this is gonna open the file picker, which you can then choose the image you want. Once you select your image, you'll be shown what it's gonna look like on the different types of uh, sizes. If you chose uh, different placements, then that's what this is for. So I'm gonna click on next. Now on the right hand side, my ad is gonna to start to take some shape. The next thing that we wanna do is come down and create an offer, uh, a headline, and a description if you choose to. So the primary text, so the primary text is the offer. Make sure that you have a compelling offer. When crafting an offer, you wanna make sure that you get inside the conversation that's happening already in your prospect's mind. What are people thinking about when they are in the process of either getting this service or one step before getting this service. Okay, so once you have your primary text, which is your offer, once you have your headline and you have your call to action, you're gonna come down and we're going to select the messaging uh, information. This is gonna be what people are gonna see when they actually click on the messenger uh, button to send you a text. Now, it's good to note that uh, these are gonna be very conversational type ads. People are gonna message you and you're gonna to have to reply through Messenger and get back to them, schedule a quote and do your normal process. But after I set this up, I'm gonna show you how we automate this so that we can have this conversation happen 24 hours a day without us missing a beat and losing some of this business. Now the option that we want is uh, choose start conversation and I'm gonna click on edit. And we are going to be tailoring this information in here because this is what people are going to be prompted with once they select that button. So the very first thing is that you want to change your text in here to make this something a little bit more appealing. Uh, tell people you know, why they clicked here, what you want them to do, ask them some questions. And then the next th thing you're gonna do is actually adjust these questions so they actually make sense. Can I make a purchase? Doesn't really make sense. I'm interested, can you tell me more? Actually makes a little bit of sense. Can you recommend something for me? does not make a whole lot of sense. So what we wanna do is we want to delete the questions that don't make sense and actually come in here and ask the next step. So you might ask for a phone number, you might ask for an email, you might ask for a series of questions. Once you do this, um, this is what people are going to see and this is what's gonna be submitted to you. Once they um, submit this information, then it's your job to uh, call these people to follow up with the text and to close the deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and finish once that process is done, I'm gonna click on publish on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And this is actually going to send you back to the ads manager and your ad will, will go to Facebook for review. They're gonna make sure that you're not breaking any terms of services, that what you're saying is actually good, that you're legit business. And once they approve that, the ad usually starts to run. Now, when do you see results from this ad? The straight answer is it depends, but when set up properly with a solid offer and a great image and targeted to the right area, we usually start seeing results within seven days of an ad going live. Now the next step that I'm gonna show you is how to automate the process of the lead follow-up because as it stands right now, Facebook, uh, the leads that come in through Facebook, they're going to message you and you're going to have to message them back and have interactions with them. And a lot of times for small business owners, this could be, um, it could be a little bit tricky, especially if you start to receive, you know, 90, 100 leads in a couple of weeks um, because you're going to be busy on job sites. You're going to be providing quotes. You're going to be dealing with your nuances of your business. And a lot of these are going to fall through the cracks. The last thing that you want to do is lose money because you're not prepared. So let me show you what we do and how we set up automations for this. 
Okay, so what you're looking at here is the actual tool that I use to manage all of my client businesses when we're running ads and my own business. Basically, what this does is allows us to have all of our lead generation in one single area so that we know exactly what's happening with these leads and where they're at at each step of the process. So you may get a bunch of leads that are in a new lead stage, but you want to have conversations with them and you've sent out proposals or you've been out or they've scheduled already. This happens all uh, behind the scenes so that we don't lose out on any of of the leads that come in the other thing that this allows us to do is, is the main portion of what i'm going to show you today is the ability to automatically reply to those leads at any time of day so that you don't have to initially uh, closing more of those deals so let me show you how this how this works basically so i'm going to um open up a local workflow here and I'm going to click local business submission. So we've just set up a Facebook ad and we've connected it to this system with a few couple of clicks of a button, basically giving permissions to Facebook to tie into this application. By the way, there is a link to this application um, in the description of this video as well. And the automations that you're going to see, I'm giving it to you. So if you decide to try it on for 14 days or whatever the thing is, um, this will all be created for you. So let's say somebody comes in and they submit, they submit that form, they submit a message, um, and it asks for um, their phone number. What happens next is that automatically the system will import that customer detail into its database. A contact tag is created, allowing us to identify where these leads came from and who they are. An opportunity is creating created with the contact details, basically their name. Um, and since you're asking for a phone number, their phone number is going to be pre-populated in any other conversation that you may have. Um, an email notification is sent to you as well as a text message notification is sent to you as well. If the lead sends us the phone number, then we also follow up with them via a text message to let them know that we've received that via Facebook. We're not always on Facebook, but we would love to come out and give them a quote or an estimate or continue the conversation. What we're noticing is that about 90% of all the interactions that are are happening are happening via text now and people are more comfortable texting back and forth before they actually pick up the phone and schedule the other thing that happens in here is that we have a series of follow-ups so in the event that the customer doesn't respond or they ghost you we understand that life happens so this is designed to actually sell exactly how you buy. Think about your buying process. If you receive a phone call from an unknown number, you're typically not going to pick this up. If that number calls you two or three times, maybe leaves a voicemail and send a text message, now you're into something. So this automation is designed that same way. It's if they give us a phone number, it's designed to follow up via text, follow up via their email, bridge the call between you and them. And if they don't give us that, it's designed to follow up within messenger or whatever medium you chose to to run your ads in right um, once this is um, once the customer responds you get immediate notification so that you can go back and forth with them and schedule them out it also sends out the reminders of when you're on the way to the job site so let's just say that they book with you and they say yes come out on Tuesday at 2 p.m. you can with a click of a button mark them schedule at Tuesday at 2 p.m. and a series of automated text and reminders will go out to them letting them know that you're gonna be there in an hour you're gonna be there in 30 minutes and then after you leave it's going to actually send a review request to the customer so that they can give you a review on your Google My Business. So this is all set up automatically and it happens 24 hours a day. What this allows us to do is maximize those number of leads to come through so that we can close and convert them at a much consistent and much faster rate um, than anything else. It also puts these in a customer database. So as they're going to need more dryer vent cleaning in the future, you can reach back out to them and put a campaign together six months down the road, um, offering them a special deal or a special discount because they were previous customers. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you're somebody who is looking to get this done for you, we're looking to take on five additional partners each month in the dryer vent space for different cities and different areas across the country if that's you there should be a link in the description go ahead and check it out if that's not you and you're more of a diy and you want to do things yourself and figure it out a lot yourself there's a link to a mini workshop that walks you through setting this stuff step by step as well uh, you can get all those resources in the description